I have a really great memory, but that can cut both ways because I can remember wonderful things about every woman I've ever slept with, but I also remember every time I've felt really stupid. My memory has a huge appetite. Can I give you a hand? Already done. Oh, well, can I have a sneak taste? Oh, yeah, sure. It's good, huh? Mm. Must be really good. <laughs> I've been wanting to do that for a while. Me, me too. I, I meant the kiss, not the... Well, <laughs> wanna... Yeah. coming into the station. Yes. Enjoy. And... Oh. I'm sorry, guys. What, you get your electricity cut off again? Yeah, Brian, just the TV, though. It, the lights are on, right? It's just this thing's older than the Clinton administration. Go ahead. Hey. Oh, hey, everybody. It's Michael. He uh, plays piano at the bar. People, Michael, Michael, people. Uh, Brian, oh. I've heard you play. You're, you're great. Oh, thanks. Have you heard from uh, Abby lately? Uh, no, uh, but I did see her get on the Clark bus yesterday. Oh, well, good. At least she's getting out of the house. Why? What happened? Yeah, she's been in a funk. And Abby's mom, she's, uh, she's, uh, getting manic depressive. Well, Bipolar. Yeah. How do you know Abby? Uh, well, that is a very long story. How long do you have? <laughs> well, she had a really strong relapse and had to be committed. Eileen took her up there. Did Abby say she was coming by today? She said she was going to stop by, but she could be going full on Howard Hughes by now, peeing in milk bottles. She's been blowing me off. Oh, what, did you sleep with her or something? Because that's when she stops calling. Oh. Mm. Why, did you sleep with her? Yeah. yeah. What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, I gotta ask, okay? Who here has slept with Abby? It's a very scientific survey, so raise your hand if you have slept with Abby ever. Ugh. No. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. Oh, more than half the room. Uh, all right. Uh, where? After the bar. After a brunch. Mm, more than once. Just the once. <laughs> Just the once? Okay, a few times in one day. <laughs> in a car. On a couch. Mm. Well, this couch? On oh, my baby? Oh, that's kind of hot, actually. Abby asked me last year if my girlfriend and I were open. And? And? Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, it's... I don't know. She, she says no, but it could be fun if we were and be... Uh, should have a good time here. Party'd be more fun. <laughs> Me and my boyfriend are, but it only works when he's out of town. Oh. I have a question. I, I know we all just met, but if you are deciding if you're open, do you figure that out like before or after you screw somebody else? <laughs> I'm sorry. True, I'm that's sorry. <laughs> so cute. Uh, but before that, <laughs> Michael, you had your hand up? Oh. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Oh. We've known each other for like 10 years. We went to college together, you know? We hung out, did some stuff. Yeah, sure, sure you did. Really? Michael, you're holding out on me, what? No, oh, why is that so weird? Do I look like a dud? The opposite. What's the opposite of a dud? A stud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Abby, so maybe you guys just canceled each other out. Yeah, okay, hold on, no. I don't believe you. She never told me that. Because you'd obsess about it, like now. Touche, touche. Did you love her? Yeah, I, I oh. loved her. <laughs> I was smitten, but uh, you know, I mean, she said she'd never fall in love with a guy. To tell you the honest to God truth, it really wasn't even that sexy, so. Mm, that doesn't sound like Abby. Sounds like she knows what she likes. Mm, yeah. Mm. Hey, I've never fallen in love with a guy. 
Uh, me neither. <laughs> it's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> then here's to love. Good to Abby getting a groove back. May we all find our groove. Mm -hmm. um, can I get anyone a beer or anything? Mm. No. I'm good. Excuse me. I think we need some more baby carrots. Yeah, that one. Yeah. We ate that one. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. Stan. Stan, right? I'm. I'm. I'm Stan. I'm Alicia. Oh, Eileen Alicia. invited me. Oh, Eileen. Uh, she couldn't make it. Oh, I know. She told me, but you know, I was almost here, all the way from Oak Forest. Oh, yeah. That's a uh, hall. Uh, yeah. A Abby invited me too. That's where I met Abby. Abby and Abby's mom. Oh, you know mom. Abby oh, and her mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Riverside Hospital. Oh, at the at the hospital. Yeah, right. I was there. I was visiting my grandma. She's there too. You know, she's getting her brain rewired. So. Oh. Wow. Nice to finally meet you. <laughs> I don't usually make out with strangers. We're not strangers anymore. Do you think you could give me a ride home? Mine or yours? I actually don't have a car. <laughs> um, can you walk me then? Uh, hey everyone, this is uh, Alicia. She's a uh, friend of Abby's. Is, is Abby coming by then? Oh, uh, she's helping her mom get settled back at home. I'm going over there later. Uh, over where? Abby's. Well, Abby's uh, moving in with her mom temporarily, so you mean you're going over to her mom's house then? Yeah, her mom likes me. We met at the hospital after she poisoned my grandma with sugar. <laughs> by mistake, of course. <laughs> well, Eileen's never mentioned you. Abby has never mentioned you. I've never heard your name. Abby's not been herself lately. Well, you know, people like to deal with their mental problems privately. Mm, so you're Abby's new mental problem and she's dealing with you privately. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't even look familiar to me. <laughs> okay. Hi. Hi. I'm Alicia, Abby's girlfriend. Yeah. Uh. But I'm like, you know, hey, it is what it is. Yeah. People, mental, you know, get some help, take it easy, reach out, be yourself. Nothing to be ashamed of, you know? Is your boyfriend out of town? Till Tuesday. <laughs> 